No biting. No biting. No. Go. Go. Good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful morning here and everything is already starting to turn green after the rain which is just so lovely to see after how brown and scratchy and horrible everything's been over the summer so I can't wait to see it all flourish more. Uh, it was actually cold last night and we were sleeping in the cabin and woke up and oh, I just I never thought I would enjoy feeling cold but yeah it's feeling feeling really good the days are still a little hot in the middle of the days um but yeah it's, it's an utter utter relief <laughs> bon dia bon dia how are you all doing it's finally cooled down enough whilst being nice enough and settled enough and us being prepared enough that we're gonna actually try and do some work on the driveway so we've got we need to get the cement mixer out get the generator out sort out a few bits down by the lean too and yeah we'll then get cracking So this is the current state of affairs. Um, I dug out this trench, trench track thing a few weeks ago to try and build like a semi-retaining wall to try and lift the level of this whole area up a bit so there's less of an incline. Um, but actually, I think I may have done it a little bit too far in. So I think I'm gonna level it out and bring it across this way just a touch. Um, there is also a wall in this part here, covered in wild vines, so I think we need to clear that up as best we can. And then we'll get the cement mixer on the go and put some, put some rocks down.
got so many seeds to sow. Um, Sandra, one of our subscribers, was at Nix and she gave me loads of seeds from her garden. So I need to do some research on when, when I should uh, sow them. So I'm going to keep them out. And then my friend Alicia, who lives in Thailand, sent me loads of really cool seeds. Um, I think I can plant this one now. I did do some research on those. But I'm very behind on my seed sowing for September. It's been quite a hectic month, weirdly. <laughs> so, they're all to sow. Some ginger I want to pot. Is trying to steal my apple. I have just been to the hairdressers or cabaleiro in Portuguese, one of the hardest words to say. Yeah, something I was actually a bit nervous about doing because my Portuguese, though getting better, is not yet perfect and it's obviously speaking about something I don't know the words for, like layers. Anyway, I was finally confident enough to go because I've been practicing my Portuguese and my friend Bella also helped me to book the appointment, so thank you Bella. 
and something that has actually really been helping me to grow my confidence with Portuguese is today's sponsor, which is Busu. If you don't know them, then Busu is a language learning platform with 14 different languages available to choose from. You can set up your own personalised study plan and it shows you how long it will take you to reach your goal based on how much you're able to spend each day on learning the language. And I think this is a really good motivator to kind of have that goal in mind. And with just five minutes a day, I'm currently set to be pretty fluent by May of 2023 next year. So that's not too far away. You can also take a quiz so that you're better placed within the lessons, depending on what level you already have within that language. There is also more of a focus on grammar rules, because although <laughs> grammar is not very much fun, I think just learning a load of vocabulary just it doesn't help when you want to actually have a conversation. And speaking of conversation, a unique feature of Busu is that it connects all of its language learners within the platform so that once you review your lesson, you can write or record an audio of your answer and exchange that with another user who is a native speaker of the language you're learning and they can review that for you, which really helps with improving your pronunciation. There is a free plan available so you can get a taste of Busu and see whether you like it or not. But if you're really serious about learning a language, then you can upgrade to the premium version, which unlocks a lot more great content. If this sounds like something you're interested in and you'd like to find out more, there is a link in our description below from which you can check out Busu and unlock all premium features for seven days. I hope you'll find it useful and thank you Busu for sponsoring today's video. Little pet net stroke sparkling wine update for you. It was a couple of videos back. It's exciting. I'll turn you around for this one. So, there you go, a bit of sediment. Shouldn't really be moving them, but there you go. So that these bottles are squeezed all the way to the top. So that's the amount of pressure that's come into it. Amazing, it's like rock hard as well. There's no give in the bottle. And yeah, listen. It's definitely fizz. And a grape. <laughs> and the other one, interestingly, hasn't gone down as much, but again, it's fizzing away. So I think I'm going to give this another, maybe one of them another week or so and test it. And then, you can't see the colour quite, can you? I'll take you outside. No, still can't see the colour. But yeah, I'll give it another week or so and then test this one. I'm going to leave the other bottle until November when my mum comes to visit and we'll have it as a finishing the olive harvest treat. Everything else, the proper wine, is all looking good. These are the Demijohns. Interestingly, the like two of them smell completely different from the other three, but I think it's because they're the, the final press, so there's a bit more a bit more sediment in there. So it's not the free run juice, which mostly went into here. Again, smells really nice. So I might try and convince Carissa to, to taste test it for me. <laughs> we will see.
Woke up and it's raining. Plan was to do some more walling today. But there you go, classic Portugal. I think it might storm later. I hope it might storm later. So just come down to check on the wall. It's all nice and solid. I'll turn around and show you. So I've never built a wall before. I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, kind of. I've had some help off off Nick and Carissa had a bit of a lesson, which is where that wall came from. So we're not quite going the same here. So far anyway. We will from this post here up to there. There. That's a more serious wall. Um so I think I will get some more advice before I start that. But this one is just basically a retaining wall. Not really a retaining wall because it's only going to be holding 30, 40 centimetres of of rubble and stuff just to get the the height of all this up because to drive down it at the moment is quite treacherous. So there you go, you can see the rubble going in. So now we've got a wall that will keep the rubble in. 